and I know, what's a YouTuber who normally does videos predominantly about beauty doing a video all about arthritis? It's because I have arthritis in my hands and I have a few family members who have rheumatoid arthritis. Besides that, I'm not only a beauty YouTuber. Our pain level could change from one day to the next and sometimes even throughout the day. And amazingly enough, there are days that we have no pain. And yes, it amazes us too that one day something could hurt so bad and the next day, hardly at all. That's rare though. Okay, so there are many things that can affect our pain. And sometimes it's absolutely just what we did the day before. For me, it's a guarantee that I'll be in more pain tomorrow because I'm cleaning this. Just because one day it didn't hurt and then the next day that same exact action hurts us so badly, we're not lying, we're not putting on an act. We're really telling you that yesterday this didn't hurt at all, but today I literally can't do it. Please believe us. A good rule of thumb is to just assume we're always in pain. We will let you know when something doesn't hurt because it literally will amaze us. Did you know that sometimes the food that we eat can literally make us be in more pain later that day or the next day and maybe even several days after? If you're the one who's doing most of the cooking, please consider that when you cook, you may be causing us more pain. Experts, which I am not, don't always agree on this, but I'm going to put some links and resources down below in the description box on foods that are said to cause inflammation and in turn cause pain. Even though experts don't agree on this, my sister who has rheumatoid arthritis has gone completely to a keto diet. She has firsthand knowledge on how this has completely changed her pain level. Arthritis is very frustrating and it also can scare us. So it can be frustrating doing simple things that everybody else just takes for granted. Opening a jar, picking something up small with our fingers, just simple everyday tasks that we can't do because our fingers or our bodies just do not move in the way that they're supposed to move it. That is so incredibly frustrating. For instance, I try not to buy anything with an aerosol can because frankly, there are times that my finger just can't push the nozzle down. And obviously it can scare us. We know that there's going to be coming a time in our lives when we're not going to be able to do something that we absolutely love to do. Besides the stuff that we love to do, let's think about the stuff we have to do our livelihood, what we do to get dressed in the morning, to put makeup on, to do my own hair, simple everyday things that you have to do to be able to exist in this world. Okay, maybe not makeup, but you know what I mean. If we can't do those things anymore, then we have to rely on someone else, probably you, our loved one, to help us. And you know what? That's scary. That's frustrating. I'm afraid that there's one day that I won't be able to do this, which I love. Think about stopping myself with a break. I don't know how long it will be till I won't be able to do that anymore. And yes, that petrifies me because it's something I love to do. Okay, here are some specific things that you could do to help the person that you love who has arthritis. Number one is be really careful about what you say. For instance, we know that sometimes, and this is not even people only with arthritis, this is people who are getting older. When we stand up from sitting from a long period of time, to immediately start walking is painful. It is so hard to just immediately stand and go. Our bodies need to stretch back out again, especially if we've been sitting a long period of time. Oh, the worst is when you are in a restaurant and you've been sitting there a good hour, maybe two hours, and now everyone gets up and they immediately wanna stand up and go walk out of the restaurant. And you're sitting there going, I am dreading standing up and looking like I'm going to waddle because I know that as soon as I stand up and start walking out, I'm going to have to do that waddle because my hips are killing me. We know we're waddling. We know it. You do not need to point it out. So what you can do is just keep your mouth closed. <laughs> or better yet, not even better yet, in conjunction with that is let me stand up even 30 seconds before you. 
let me stand up and just stretch my hip out. We don't need to make it a big production. Just let us stand up and stand there for a second. Don't look at us and go, what are you doing? Give us a chance to acclimate our bodies to standing again, but please don't comment and go, oh, nice waddle, mom. We don't need to hear it. Don't point it out. That's the best we can do. So just don't say anything. We know that our hands might not be attractive. My hands are not attractive anymore. They have huge knuckles and they're just going to get worse the longer I live. You don't need to point it out. Don't look and go, oh, mom, your hands, like, oi. You don't need to say it. I miss the days that my hands looked young and beautiful. If you want to say anything, just go, yeah, mom, I, those look like they hurt. I'm sorry. That's it. You do not need to point out that they're ugly. I'm thankful I still am able to use them. Okay, some of us have arthritis in our knees and our feet, and it just hurts to walk. We would love to wear the most fashionable, cute shoes, but here's the thing. They kill us. They are so painful, and you don't even need arthritis to have these shoes hurt you. You can just have older feet, and it hurts. As you, maybe the younger person in this relationship, <laughs> and you're looking at probably your parents' shoes, don't look at your mom's shoes and go, nice old lady shoes, mom. You know what? We need to be able to walk and be able to do life without being in pain. Don't comment about our old lady shoes. We try the best that we can and be thankful that that person that you think their shoes are ugly is able to walk next to you and be with you. I guess the old verbiage is true. If you don't have anything nice to say, maybe don't say it at all. Another thing about shoes is I personally try to avoid shoes with laces because my fingers just don't bend. This is my fingers. This is how much they bend. I can't go any farther. My thumbs are the easiest. I don't have it in my thumbs for some reason, but the rest of my fingers just don't bend in anymore. So think about trying to tie shoes. So there are some alternatives. I do have these one pair of sneakers from Vionics that literally have a zipper right next to it. Oh, just wonderful. So they look like a normal pair of sneakers but I don't have to actually tie the shoes. Or you can just have shoes that don't have laces. They might not be the most fashionable shoes, but you know what? We are able to walk next to you. We are able to go shopping. We are able to do life because we have shoes that feel good and I can actually get them on my feet. Another thing you can do to help us out is just be patient. We might not walk as fast as we used to walk. Don't turn around and go, come on, mom. Come on, dad, you don't need to say that. If we're walking slower, it means we're probably in pain. Be patient, walk slower for that person instead of making them walk faster for you. One of the best things that you could do as a person without arthritis is to encourage your loved one with arthritis to keep moving. One of the worst things for arthritis is a sedentary life. Find something that you can do together with your loved one. Some people love to go for a walk. For me, I love to go on a bike ride, like I said before. I would rather ride a bike for 20 miles than go for a walk for two. So go on a bike ride with them. Encourage movement that is comfortable for them to do at the speed that they can do and for the length of time that they can do and just move into what is comfortable for them instead of them working into what's comfortable for you. Okay, try to put yourself into their body and think how everything affects them. Things that are cold are really hard for somebody with arthritis. So if your house is always freezing, maybe consider if it's in your budget, to raise the temperature a little bit. Buy gloves with holes for your fingers. I use these all the time because it keeps my knuckles nice and warm, but I'm able to still type. I'm still able to do things throughout the house. My knuckles don't hurt so much because they're a bit warmer. So consider getting your loved one a pair of these kind of gloves. One of the worst things for me is cutting up cold meat where you have to hold like the piece of chicken. I can take it for maybe a couple seconds and I need to put my hands under warm water because it just hurts so badly. So if this is your loved one, maybe 
you cut the meat up and so they don't have to do it anymore. Make sure you have knives in your house that have enough space so when you push down on the knife, the knuckles do not hit the cutting board. Nothing shoots more pain for a person with arthritis in their fingers than hitting those knuckles on things. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how much that hurts. This one is such an easy thing for you to do for your loved one. Don't close the stinking lids so stinking tight. <laughs> Cannot tell you how painful it is to try to turn a, a, something to be able to open a jar lid or whatever it is. Now, game changer I have in my home is this jar opener that's underneath my cabinet. Perfect gift to give somebody who you love that can't open jars. But another thing that you can just do is not close things so tightly. Nitty gritty kind of cleaning can be really painful for somebody with arthritis. If you have to get in with your fingers and really scrub something, all of that is so painful for us. And the longer we do it, the more pain we are in. And that's one of those things that the next day, Mm, so painful. One thing to consider is having other family members do the cleaning or hiring someone to come in and do it. Okay, this one is such an easy fix. Consider buying lighter plates. Some of these plates are so heavy. So think about unloading the dishwasher and bringing those up into a cabinet. Add the food on there. It's just too heavy. These are Corel wear. They're extremely thin, extremely durable and I can hold a whole bunch of them with my hands without having pain. They're extremely inexpensive and they're so light. The same thing is like mixing bowls. If you have these big ceramic mixing bowls, I know they're cute. I love the look of them. They're just so stinking heavy, especially when you add four of them stacked inside each other or if you've got a whole thing of food inside of it. It's just heavy. So just consider going lighter on those kind of things and you, your person with arthritis will be like so happy. Okay, writing is one of those things that I personally have just such a hard time doing because my fingers just don't bend that way. So I avoid writing at all costs. So I can still do it, I just can't do it for a long time. And it certainly hasn't improved my writing at all. So I've gone digital with most things. So if you're somebody who gets digital things, then maybe help them figure out some solutions for them to be able to use something digitally instead of using their fingers. Another great gift to give somebody who has arthritis is giving them a loopy case. So this is something I have used for years and it's because of my arthritis. For me to hold onto a phone for any length of time, my fingers just can't do it. So this makes it so that I can hold onto it very easily. I can even pick this up easily like that off the counter and I don't have to worry about it. For me to pick this up, from a counter, I am not kidding you, can be painful sometimes. So this has been a game changer for me. I've been using them for about five years. So there's other ones out there. It doesn't have to be the loopy case. This one to me is good because it's rubber and so it doesn't hurt my, my knuckle because this is on my knuckle all the time and that's painful. So that's why this one works for me. Okay, I realize I scratched the surface over things that could help somebody with arthritis. And arthritis, it affects people so, differently. What hurts one person may not hurt another. Please put your comments below if there's something that you do or your loved ones do for you that has been a game changer. We want to hear about it. I have another video that would be very helpful to you. I'm going to link it right here and it's just a whole bunch of products. I've mentioned a couple of them but there's even more that have made a big difference in my life on handling life with arthritis, it specifically in my hands. So I'm going to link that one here. I will hopefully see you in that one or maybe even one of my beauty videos. All right. God bless.